We both got very involved in Richmond, and, and we're particularly involved as we're in the River Centre, in the river. Now, I have a sort of hunch that you think it's a bit unwise of me to swim in the river. <laughs> no, no, I don't think it's unwise. <laughs> I think it's plain lunacy. <laughs> <laughs> OK, why? Because this is perfect. Well, but it's improving. <laughs> well, uh, so are we. But <laughs> <laughs> you are, well, you are proof that I'm, I'm wrong. Uh, I mean, certainly when I came here 50, uh, 50 years ago, it was lunacy to, to yeah, the river. Yeah. And it's, a, it's, it's one of the great stories, it is, is it yeah. not? One of the great optimistic stories uh, that, that there are fish in the river that have come, I mean, there are, they're said to be salmon, and uh, good reason to believe that yeah. occasionally there are salmon. What a marvellous I mean, uh, uh, recovery. Yeah. Uh, it, it is a hugely optimistic thing. Um, so, uh, and what is more, I mean, the river centre and more consciousness of of, of making sure that you don't put old bedsteads and things in the river, and that you yeah. don't pollute the river, is, is having, an, having an example. If ever you wanted an example of, of, of optimism, of, of if you only work hard enough, you'll get results. Yeah. The river is it. And, and as speaking as a, a, a naturalist of sorts, I, the, the, the thing about the river is that it is, it is real, wild, unspoiled nature absolutely here within a few yards of us. But there are two areas that greatly excite me as an enthusiast about the Riverside Centre. There are all sorts of extremely important and excellent things. And I think the two areas of great interest are the, the entrance space. I mean, you will move on into a lovely exhibition area, which is upstairs, and you can move on in that direction to a nice cafe and restaurant, all of which is splendid. But the entrance space, where I gather, Angela, there's going to be somebody on 24 hours a day is there available for answering oh, this or other. And I thought it was a, I thought it was a bit unwise. The idea of drunks rolling in at 2 in the morning saying, what's this about the river then? But um, anyway, all day long, seven days a week, there will be somebody there who can answer questions about the river. But and more important even than that, it is an incredibly exciting space to draw people in. And one of the ideas is that there should be an aquarium there. Oh, in, in the river context, that's, the idea is to have, because obviously the species are changing within the river all the time, and the idea would be to have things that are, are in season at that moment and maybe then release them and, and show other things, because the river is always changing, so right. we want to show that. People ask me what do, what do my son should have in order to come to the interest of nature. I have no hesitation in saying an aquarium. Because uh, what you see there is a whole ecosystem, that, and that's the important thing about the natural world: is community, and and plants and, and animals living together, different animals living together. Um, uh, you see courtship, you see one hunting the other. You, you see all the processes going on, and you can do that in a small tank. Now what? Joe will be able to do in the river centre, I don't know yet, but I have, because it's, it's early days. Yes. But with someone of Joe's experience, I mean, what a godsend. I have no hesitation that if we give him the scope, he'll produce something in there which will give you an insight into what's going on in the river within a couple of yards of where the river centre is that will blow your mind. I mean, no. uh, and children will be fascinated by it. I have no doubt. I mean, uh, and, and not just fish either. I mean, uh, dragonfly larvae and, and, and dragonfly emerging. Yeah. That's one of the most wonderful things in the whole of nature. It doesn't matter whether you go to the Amazon or where, wherever you go. There's, there's nothing more marvellous than seeing this thing crawl out of your pond uh, in the morning and sitting there and, and you sitting and watching it. Yeah. dragging itself out and bedraggled and then stretching these wings and becoming this extraordinary animal which has got a, a pedigree that goes back 450 million years. Mm -hmm. I mean, breathtaking, if you ask me. Yeah. Can, we, can, we, can we have things like sort of riverside plants or indeed plants within the river? I don't know. Oh, sure. Sure. Yeah, inside, sort of inside also. Absolutely. Good. Well, we want to merge the outside yeah. going yeah. into Perfect. the building. That's what we were just thinking. The river That's inside. And also, it seemed to be rather exciting, as described by Angela, sort of experiments going on. I mean, a system of testing the river water every day and recording, that, like we used to with barometers, its levels, and, and so on. And uh, I think all that is going to be incredibly exciting in the entrance. So do I. Which is thrilling. The other great area, I think, is the boat building underneath. Now, I, as someone who lives near Mark Edwards in the Richmond Boathouses, the transformation of that little bit of the river through Mark employing young people to build boats through being a sort of really proactive user of the river. I think that it, 
the river centre having this at the ground floor is also going to be well, I, incredibly I, attractive. I do, but I'm what they call a dry bob, and you're a wet bob. <laughs> I'm a wet bob, it's true. <laughs> so you could talk about that. <laughs> well, it's just that when we came here 40 years ago, the river was very little used, even compared to now. It's still not much used for boating, but when you look at an Edwardian photograph, the entire river is full of people on a Sunday in lovely little Thames skiffs, girls in the back seat with beautiful great hats and so on. And I think that over the years, the, the amenity of the river is something for the public to enjoy themselves on, will enormously increase. And, and um, the River Centre can be a great sort of promoter of that as well. So I, I think that both those two things, I mean, are going to make it an opening onto the river, which is immensely attractive to people. And um, it's very exciting when we're moving towards that. And the other, the other thing about it um, is that it will be a focus for environmental concerns and environmental news and environmental excitement and environmental organisations. We can all come together in the premises yeah. uh, which is devoted yeah. to this one end. So it will be a marvellous focus for everything uh, that is going on to preserve this yeah. extraordinary place where we are fortunate enough to live.